Go live, Michelle. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Shiva Ayadure. We're going live right now to really have a discussion about a solution that I just recently proposed, uh, embodied in a letter that I just sent to the President of the United States, uh, President Trump, to really discuss what we need to do to address the coronavirus issue, not only from a uh, uh, immune system standpoint, but also from an economic standpoint. Look, um, we live in the world of complex systems. We no longer live in the world uh, that is just based on uh, simplifying complex problems to just simple part-based solutions. What we're dealing with now is a very important issue concerning the immune health of all Americans. We can talk about the world, but since I'm an American citizen here, I'm based in America, I'm going to talk about America. Obviously, we want to help the world too, but let's talk about America because that's what we are. And the secondary part of it is the economic situation that's occurring as a result of a health policy that is being led by an individual called um, Anthony Fauci. As a scientist, as an inventor, as an educator, what I can share with you is I've dedicated my entire life to health. Some of you may know I grew up uh, in the working class towns of uh, New Jersey, where I had a deep appreciation and love for science and medicine. I began working as a 14 year old kid in Rutgers Medical School, actually using computers to identify why babies were dying in their sleep. This is something that I've been doing for a long time. Before that, I learned from my grandmother in a small village in India. I also grew up in India where they practiced traditional systems of Indian medicine, which was really based on applying food and herbs and indigenous approaches to medicine, not just vaccinating people, not giving drugs, not corporate solutions. So I was exposed after that, you know, my work at, as a 14 year old kid at Rutgers, all the way through my training at MIT in biology and in information technology across four degrees. I worked my butt off to really figure out what is the right approach to health. And that led in 2003 to my coming back to MIT and doing my PhD in an amazing field called systems biology, which basically says that we have to treat the body as a whole. And it's not about seeing the different parts that we need to integrate all these parts, get a holistic view of the body, which is frankly what thousands of years of old medicine uh, have said that we need to treat the body as a whole. The current model of corporatized healthcare, Western medicine, it has certain uses. If you get your arm blown off, if you're in a God awful accident, surgery, antibiotics, steroids are wonderful. So don't get me wrong. However, for day to day maintenance of our health, to support our immune system, what we're finding is that Western medicine knows very little. However, the hope is things like systems biology, which emerged in 2003 when I came back to MIT and I spent a, a dedicated time working day and night to create a technology called Cytosolve, which allows us to integrate knowledge and get a holistic view of all different kinds of biomolecular processes and disease systems that result in the invention of Cytosolve. I went back to India for a Fulbright to really study the integration of Eastern and Western medicine that resulted in a whole new understanding I created called Systems Health. And so today I find myself in a very unique position. The child of grandparents who were poor farmers, the, you know, the student of working class people in New Jersey who studied medicine is here to provide the President of the United States a much needed solution he needs. Anthony Fauci, the Center for Disease Control is not advising him properly. I hate to say that. They are part of the problem. They're part of the problem that we have high obesity rates in this country. They're part of the problem we have high autoimmune disorders. They have not called states of emergency for the real health issues in this country, dirty water, dirty air, and dirty food. But today, what they have done is compromise the entire economic situation of this country by an ill-gotten policy, which is leading us to destruction. And so I sent a letter to the president of the United States uh, based on a lot of your requests. People have said, Dr. Shiva, what can I do for my personal health? What can I do to protect the economic health of this country? I've gotten, you know, letters, phone calls from leading economists all over the world saying we've seen your videos. Please help us because the president of the United States, as we see it and others, is surrounded by people who are forcing them in a direction. And in fact, he's not getting, it, this has become a politicized issue, which it should not be. 
So I'm going to go through right now and read the letter that I just sent to the president. And it's a letter I believe should be publicly shared with all people so we can get down to the solution which we all deserve. For far too long, we have outsourced our health to people who do not have our interests. Let me just remind people many, many years ago, another great president, John F. Kennedy gave a talk to the National Academy of Sciences and he brought up the current conundrum we're in with democracy. And that conundrum was that modern democracy relies, relies on experts. And he was speaking to the National Academy of Sciences in 1961 and he was saying, we rely on you experts to tell us what to do because of the complexity of problems. However, that was based on those experts, those quote unquote scientists being disinterested, objective third parties. And what we see now with the utter degradation of academia, where people are paid to play. And that is the culture that Anthony Fauci comes from. That is a culture of the CDC, that they do not care about addressing immune health or for that matter, preventative measures. It's about making money, money, money at the expense of all of us. And whether it be Bill Gates or Zuckerberg or the Clinton Global Foundation, all these people create foundations to move their money, which should be taxed into foundations, and then they are creating world policy for all of us. And we never gave them that right. It's time to take back our rights and it's time to focus on truth and science. So let me read to you what I just sent to the president. I'm gonna to read to you, uh, let me go here and read to you this policy. If you guys go to shivaforsenate.com, if you wanna see this, slash immune hyphen and hyphen economic hyphen health hyphen for hyphen America hyphen coronavirus. You can see this if you go live right now on Facebook, if you're on Instagram or if you're on uh, uh, Periscope, you can see this. But again, the URL is, as I just read here, shivaforsenate.com slash immune dash and dash economic dash health dash for dash America dash coronavirus. Let me read this to you. So this letter I just sent, and I hope the president's reviewing this, and the letter says, uh, it's addressed to Donald J. Trump, president of the United States, White House, and it says, Dear President, Dear Mr. President, this letter provides you, your administration, a solution to restore the immune and economic health of the American people. This solution can be executed immediately in a low risk and cost effective manner. The current trajectory of Dr. Anthony Fauci's public health policy will result in short and long-term destruction of our citizens' immune health, as well as our na nation's economic health, perhaps a conscious and intended goal. Dr. Fauci's policy at best is based on a 1950s, outdated, one size fits all, non-personalized approach to medicine and public health and at worst is derived from fake science, understanding of the immune system, one which Dr. Fauci over five decades has perpetuated and exploited to build his career. We'll talk more about that in videos to come. There is no need to shut down our entire country. There is no need to quarantine all of our citizens. The solutions herein provides a path to advance the immune health of all of our citizens while getting our healthy people back to work. Now, by way of background, Two important developments in modern science emerged with the conclusion of the Human Genome Project in 2003. In 2003, one, the field of biological engineering, a new discipline demanding a modern engineering systems approach to biology versus the old model of seeing the body as disconnected parts. And two, the need for precision and personalized medicine, the right medicine for the right person at the right time. As one of the first PhDs emerging from MIT's Department of Biological Engineering in 2007, my research led to the invention of Cytosol, today a proven technology that enables the discovery of new medicines, combination therapies, function, functional foods and supplements faster, cheaper and safer by using the computer to model complex molecular mechanisms and diseases. Developments like this and a richer understanding of biology now provide us a golden opportunity to create the future by practicing real science and real medicine, especially at a, crime, at a time of crisis like this. The modern science of the immune system informs us that it is the overreaction 
It is the overreaction. It is the overreaction um, uh, of our own weakened and dysfunctional immune system attacking tissues and cells of our own body that harms and kills versus a virus, be it COVD-19 or other virus. The unfortunate medieval training that most medical doctors, MDs receive, does not educate them on this basic science of the immune system. In healthy individuals, the immune system processes path pathogens with a natural immune response that is mild and non-lethal. However, in those who are immunocompromised, elderly and those with pre-existing conditions, their own immune system may overreact and in the case of COVID-19, attacking lung epithelial cells and tissues leading to hospitalization mortality. The next thing I wanted to do in this letter was to really lay out a solution. So that was really giving the president background of Fauci's, what I believe malfeasance is taking place, but also to lay out what, what science has moved to, okay? We're no longer in the 1950s, okay? We're in a new era of science and there are experts like me, there are people who actually care for this country. The unfortunate thing I wanna say before I finish this letter is most academics out there are beholden to people like Fauci and the CDC for funding, okay? That's why they're keeping their mouths shut. I fortunately made money on my own and I can speak to this, but most academics are pay to play and they practice now the oldest profession. That's why they're not gonna talk about the reality of the solution that I also presented in a very tangible way, which let me continue. So below is a solution that can lead America back to economic health, immune and economic. Step one, organize our citizens into four groups. Group one, testing, those testing positive, positive for COVID-19. That's group one. Group two, Michelle, maybe you want to point this over here so the people okay. on Instagram can see it also, okay? Because that will help them. You can point the letter right here. Can you see it? Yep. Uh, yeah, there you go. Right. Uh, this is a second piece. Step one, um, uh, test, uh, organize our citizens into four groups. Testing positive for COVID-19, that's group one. Group two, hospitalized and in critical condition. Group three would be those people who are immunocompromised and not COVID-19 positive. Group four would be healthy individuals and not COVID-19 positive. So what you see is we have really four groups of people from those testing positive. Group two is hospitalized and critical condition. Group three is immunocompromised and not COVID-19 and group four is healthy. So for step two, what we need to do is deliver a personalized protocol not one size fits all, a personalized protocol. Group one, we, will, we, we continue to quarantine those people until they test negative. We give them 400,000 international units of vitamin A, palmitate, per day for two days, 50,000 international units of vitamin D per day for two days, okay? Group two, we'll give them, these are the people who are hospitalized in critical condition. Again, we give those people the 400,000 IUs of vitamin A for two days, and the 50,000 IU per day of vitamin D for two days, but we also deliver them intravenous vitamin C, 100 milligram drip per day until they're back to normal. By the way, everything I'm sharing here, um, everything I'm sharing here is stuff that's in the literature. It's proven, it's in the, in the biology. Okay, let me go back, Michelle. So you may wanna come back here. Oh, really? People don't wanna see the, the thing? Um, group three, um, our protocol for the immunocompromise. These are those, uh, though not limited to people with, for example, immune deficiency. Those are people with CVID, diabetes, type one or two, COPT, asthma, cystic fibrosis, autoimmune disorders, and those taking monoclonal antibody drugs. This protocol will support boosting their internal defense mechanism. So if, you're, if you have a child, we give them again the 400,000 IUs of vitamin A, palmitate per day for two days. And, and the 50,000 I use of vitamin D per day for two days and 500 milligrams of vitamin C per day ongoing. And then iodine slash iodide, we need both iodine and iodide. And there's a brand like Lugos, Lugols, L-U-G-O-L-S. I don't have any stock in them. I don't know any of these companies. Okay, three drops per drink once per day. For adults, we again do the 400,000 IU of vitamin A palmitate per day for two days. 50,000 IU of vitamin D per day for two days. By the way, if everyone's watching, if you go to my Twitter, the link is right there, you can see it. And for adults, additionally, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C per day ongoing, 
And again, the iodine and the iodide, um, six drops per drink once a day. And then finally, to the healthy individuals, the healthy individuals, what we need to do is, people who are healthy who don't fall into group one, two, or three, uh, I'm sorry, it should be one, two, or three. There's a slight, uh, it's slight error in this letter, which we'll update, um, one, two, or three. For, for, for children, 1,000 IUs of vitamin A palmitate per day ongoing, 2,000 IUs of vitamin D per day ongoing, 250 milligrams of vitamin C per day ongoing, and again, the iodine or the iodide, three drops per drink once a day. But for adults, if you're healthy, my recommendation, you take 10,000 IUs of vitamin D palmitate per day, 5,000 IUs of vitamin D per day, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, and iodine and iodide, you know, six drops per drink. And step three of this protocol, so the two, so we have two steps. Step one is we categorize it four groups of people. Step two is we give people differential, and the, by the way, these are all vitamins and, and very positive things. We're not hitting them with drugs and vaccines. We don't need to wait. And these are inexpensive solutions, one to maybe 10 bucks a month, okay? These are not expensive solutions. Then what we need to do is we need to now go back to work and maintenance, okay? That's step three. Healthy individuals based on the above protocol should report back to work immediately and follow their daily program as aforementioned. Individuals in group one you know, to three, until they regain full health, should do the following on a month monthly basis. They should hit themselves with the 400 IU of vitamin A per day for two days, you know, once a month. Same with the 50,000 IUs of vitamin D per day for two days, once a month. And the iodine and the iodide, you know, three drops if you're a ch child, six drops per day if you are an adult. And then vitamin C, 250 milligrams if you're a child and 100 milligrams for adults. And what I ended my letter, what I ended my letter with the president was saying, saying in addition to the above protocol, I'm organizing, and everyone should listen to this carefully, medical doctors across the world who not only support this protocol, but also know that food is medicine, as did Hippocrates, the father of medicine. Any citizen who may have specific questions will be able to send an email to corona, C-O-R-O-N-A, at systemshealth.com and receive an answer from a medical doctor who also follows these integrative approaches. To this effort, I'm contributing the infrastructure of EchoMail, a technology I developed for email management originally for the White House when Clinton was there, that follows HIPAA guidelines to support this health communication effort. In summary, we have been led down the path of corporate solutions espoused by the likes of Dr. Fauci and his colleagues at the CDC that is not in the interest of the American people. It's not in the interest of us. Such policies have led America to the lowest longevity rates, the highest infant mortality rates in the Western world. Finally, concerning COVID-19, we should ask why is it that third world countries right now, such as Chad and Djibouti, which have nowhere near the medical facilities of the United States, have only one COVID-19 infection and zero deaths. Perhaps, I asked the president and his people, perhaps it's because they get food right out of the ground, providing them enormous vitamin A, and they're out in the sun all day, working and playing, getting tons of vitamin C. So that is what I sent to the president.